You want to hear something like really dumb that I just learned today? Oh, sorry, I'm like, not. You want to hear something really dumb that I just heard today that I was not expecting to hear, and yet it erupted in my ears like a strong violence I wasn't prepared for, and it came out running, and I am so upset that I wasn't smart enough to think of this myself, but whatever, so. Why can't robots check the box that says I'm not a robot? I mean, robots can do heaps of complex things these days. So what is stopping them from ticking a simple checkbox? Well, well, it's a trick question. It's a trick question. It's a trick. It's a trick. It's fucking witchcraft. Go on. Box is a newer version of a system that used to be called Capture. Capture. Completely automated public <coughs> Turing test to tell computers and humans apart. <coughs> You might remember they used to look like this, but... Do you know how much this fucked me up? A lot? With dyslexia shit. Do you know how hard this was for me? Especially when the letters were all like, if fucky like the one at the bottom. The recapture? I ain't even mad about compared to this, because this totally reminded me of a time when I couldn't get into shit, like, one-fourth of the time. Because I couldn't fucking read what the fuck. Like, I know that's not an eight, but it's not a Q either. Like, I'm looking at it, like, it almost looks like brass knuckles. That's a nine and a three. No, that's a six... That's a six and a three. That's a six and a three. A H six three T V seven L W N N eight nine six five six two six T Y N Wait Is that an N or an L? Cause there's a thing in the center. T Y M I R R N R and it's either R I think it's N because there's a thing at the bottom. E S S Not gonna lie, I'm not confident in that last one whatsoever. Like this is actually hurting my eyeballs. As robots got smarter, captures got harder, mm -hmm. and they became completely inaccessible to the vision impaired. Yes. And the rest of us. What the fuck? Is that even a f***ing letter? No. In Google had designed think it's a AI lie. software that could pass 99.8% of captured tests, while humans were only passing 33% of them. Maybe it's a magic eye. I think I see a doll Do you understand that? Google actually made something where, like, computers were smarter than humans, and they kept trying to make it harder. But the computers could figure it out because they knew what to fucking look for. And humans got confused. Because it's just like, why are you making it harder for us when these are your creations doing it? Some of us can't read well. Some of us can't read well. Meanwhile, spammers without supercomputers could still get around captures by paying workers in digital sweatshops to solve them at a rate of 30 US cents per thousand captures sold. Now, these services are still online today. What's their address? So that's why Google invented the box. They called it ReCapture. So now I just click mm -hmm. the box that says I'm human and that's it? In this case, yep. Well, why can't a robot do that? Well, they can. But the click isn't the test. The test comes before the click, like the way your mouse moves towards that box. Google tracks that kind of thing. A She's got a nice arch. By a bot moves in a suspiciously straight line at a consistent speed, whereas your mouse movements are well, uh, they're um, uh, only human. 
Exactly. If the site's still unsure, you'll have to click on the squares with fire hydrants or crosswalks or traffic lights. Google. You hear that? So if you move your mouse way too straight, that's when those pictures pop the fuck up because you're doing it too perfect. You're not being very human-like. They're gauging humanity based on faults and flaws and imperfection. Like a computer is going to be able to learn how to mimic that. Like they've already been taught that shit. This is not fucking weird. Why would Google, why would anybody create something that has the ability to figure out how to pass a test it's not supposed to be able to pass. <clears throat> Meanwhile, motherfuckers getting pa paid like 30 cents a fucking crack are doing it. It's just winging this shit. Hasn't told us how recapture works exactly, oh, wait, but experts on. think this traffic light section might also be traffic lights. Google hasn't told us how recapture works exactly, of course but it experts isn't. think this traffic light section might also be a mass movement test. Which is why you passed, even though you missed two millimeters of traffic light room in the second square. Well, I'm only human! So true. So what's stopping spammers from paying sweatshops to beat these new captures? Nothing. Their workers get paid a whole one US Oh, dollar it's up to a dollar. To a thousand captures. But there is just one uh, t tiny other little thing. Yeah? Modern recaptures also examine your browsing history. What? Your previous internet activity is the clearest giveaway of who is human and what's a bot. Bots, for instance, don't generally Google themselves while perving on pictures of young King Charles. And so not only do these motherfuckers help raise the dragons that are now terrorizing the town that they're claiming to fucking slay. They also use them to spy on the citizens to make sure they never figure out the plot. Are you fucking... So, not only did they make the AI that, like, learned how to, like, beat the machines that were meant to, to halt them, they've also been checking you that hard. They've been checking... Like, who needs the NSA? Who needs the NSA? Who needs the NSA? You got a phone right here that automatically has, like, the Facebook, the Instagram, and the YouTubes. Automatically hardwired installed. You be damned and hard-pressed to get a lot of these phones nowadays to where, like, you can actually take them off. You can disable, but they're still on there a lot of the time. It actually takes a lot of effort to take that shit off your phone, I found out. And then there's this, and then it's just like, you know... All of a sudden, I can't really do much, and then it's like, I get on here, and I noticed when I'm in phantom mode, there ain't as much congested bolt. It doesn't look as much like 4chan boards. It's not as congested and convoluted and full of people who I know haven't bathed in three weeks. Guarantee. But, like, well, not really guarantee because I'm not sure about people on YouTube. A 4chan? Absolutely there are people on there who ain't bathed for three weeks. I can smell it. It'll make my computer crash, right? But they're checking your br the browser history. Which is like... I understand that's a feature on most computers, but I didn't know that was something that you could just look at. Hmm. I want to go back a little bit. Because I just found this, and I haven't watched it all the way, so it's like, eh. Video is the clearest giveaway of who's shit. human. It shops to beat these new captures. Nothing. Their workers get paid a whole one US dollar. A dollar for every thousand. thousand. That's fucked shit. There is just one uh, t tiny other little thing. Yeah. Modern recaptures also examine your browsing history. What? Yeah. Your previous internet activity is the clearest giveaway of who's human and what's a bot. Bots, for instance, don't generally Google themselves while perving on pictures of young King Charles and looking into forehead reduction surgery. I did not give them permission to do that. 
Yeah. You gave Google permission to. I did not. Yes, you did. Check the privacy link. It takes you straight Two to Google's ago. privacy statement, which has this video. We also collect info as you use our services, like the searches you make, ads you interact with. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. And this came out two months ago. What? Hold the fuck up. What? 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 Wait, so this came out two months ago? One US dollar to complete a thousand captures. But there is just one uh, t tiny other little thing. Yeah. Modern recaptures also examine your browsing history. What? Your previous internet activity is the clearest giveaway of who is human and what's a bot. Bots, for instance, don't generally Google themselves while perving on pictures of young King Charles and looking into forehead reduction surgery. I did not give them permission to do that. You gave Google permission to? I did not. Yes, you did. Check the privacy link. It takes you straight to Google's privacy statement, which has this video. We also collect info as you use our services, like the searches you make, ads you interact with, and visits to websites that use our services. Google assumes permission to track you all the time. In fact, assume is a very strong word. To insinuate, track you. Whoa. This like this has got way more mentally intense because I, I like there. Hmm. That puts a whole different element. I was not expecting to hear all this shit. But it's just like... That's kind of weird, considering nobody else does that. No, I don't know of any other browsers that do that kind of shit. But I also know there aren't as many browsers that have this AI internet shit problem where, like... The AI's been smart enough to know how to, like, fuck up the system so much they had to make a whole new system because it made people not be able to read shit. This is so fucking weird. This is getting weirder and weirder. The latest versions of ReCapture don't even need you to tick a box. They just use your tracking info. And well done. You pass by exhibiting incompetence at every turn. You must be human. What? Don't worry, human error looks really good on you, girl. Anyway, thank you for the intel. Later, Later humans. that what the fuck was that what was that so now we're just Hayden asked, shut the fuck up I didn't even want to go here you shut up too I know you're the same bitch <clears throat> oh yeah they saw the accessibility problem made the world better so I could have oh oh no this is so much worse My favorite thing to do with recaptcha is not to click the box. Anywhere near the box counts as an attempt, so you still get through. What? I, I didn't mean to... Shit, I did not mean to do that! I wasn't trying to click anything! Okay, it's not gonna start. That's exactly how I set it up. What happened? That's never worked for me. Maybe, okay, I was wondering if that was a troll or not, but I wasn't sure. This explains why I have to complete so many image recognition tests in succession. I'm actually a robot. Thanks, Google. See, and I always wondered that, because I always had a whole bunch, but now I know I'm a robot. So I'm, I'm cool with that. It's better than an alien or fucking human. Same here. Do them slowly. 
Some of them were for training AI. Nobody thinks about the ways this takes place at this level. You might remember having to go through two layers of these or something at one point. One was the actual robot trap. The other was AI training or something it didn't understand elsewhere. Maps use it, for example, to get the house numbers interpreted. Very well done. Easily understandable and engaging. And you managed to enlighten some people about big tech's data hoarding habits, which can't be repeated often enough. This explains why Google has gotten very annoying at using checkboxes when you browse in private mode. Really? And when you have to solve capture like check all the buses if you use your phone as they don't have mouse movement to track. I've always said that someday the capture will be inverted such that only robots will be able to pass, thereby locking humans out of their world. Mm. So that's why it fails for me so often. I use tracking protection. Google deems tracking protection as a bad thing. It's just, isn't it weird how all the shit that people use to protect themselves? Google just seems like they're like, wait, why are you doing that? Like, we don't care about the people who are going to do harm to you. We're, we're trying to do that. So you need to, like, take that off. Take that off. I was kidding. No fuck with me. Maybe somebody said something. Well, it explained, well explained, regarding the box, I thought it was something like, this is why I often find myself delaying taking the citrus route. Mm. The worst part, oh, so that, uh, well, thank you. <clears throat> Not only two show up, whatever. In course, webs and ads and web tracks is how Google makes their money. Having to pass a thousand captures for only thirty cents sounds like an actual level of hell. I agree, and it's on, uh, and it's here, it's here. Well, explain regarding the box. A friend of mine did the opposite for his website. He made a box he, that humans don't see. Only the bots click the. Bo oh, that's smart. He made a box the humans don't see, but the bots can see. That's actually super intelligent. Huh. The worst part is when the box does not work, I neither do the pictures, which are such a low quality that I have no idea what I'm looking for. Clearly Google punishing me for restricting my privacy settings. Are you sure you're not a bot? Now nah, that makes more sense since I've stopped Google from everywhere. Google makes its their money tracking and selling all your info. You didn't really think Google would offer you all these free services out of the goodness of their heart, did you? Oh yeah, I'm not liking that because then I have to sign in. No. Very educational. Well, that went from kind of neat to horribly creepy really fast. Yes, it did. Except it doesn't always work as intended. I managed to get it to pass a lot of times in my fully automated tests. Add noise to the mouse movement. What? Hmm. Every <laughs> capture is a perfect example of Google being Google. Mm hmm. I don't have any vision impairments, but those text and number puzzles are such a hassle. The same goes for clicking the images. I have to do 10 of them before I'm accepted. As for the box checking, you can easily macro human mouse movements and click the box. The browser history, I'm sure can be spoofed. Oh, you betcha, that can definitely be spoofed. And I'm curious how it goes against privacy browsers with tracking blockers. Oh, see. Hmm. 
while fairly technically accurate, it is missing a lot of details that help answer some questions in the comments. It may use Google account history as a flag of sorts, but from what I can tell as someone who has implemented it on their site, it primarily tracks you through your, the site you're on. The tracking script must be on the site for an extended period of time for them to be able to collect the data enough to statistically define what a bot versus human traffic on a site. <clears throat> Sites that employ them are inaccessible. No script means no mouse tracking. The picture puzzle works, but they never end and just keep adding new challenges. Nowadays, when I see such captures, I close the tab. Are you, so are you honestly telling me no one can design a capture click button that does movements at random to simulate human idiocy? Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> this person is really upset with the truth, but I don't blame them. Let's see. If I recall correctly, the first captcha that was, that, that was the type... Shit. That was the type... What you see where some of the text was garbled and another was legible was used to click data slash train the software that they used to help the program that was being used to digitalize the physical media in the Library of Congress. That was a long ass sentence. Commas would have been really a, a gift. The current one ha that has you identified items and traffic like street signs. And traffic lights. Ugh. I cracked my back so bad. Um, it's being used to train AI for self-driving cars. I don't like that idea. I don't like that they're saying, oh, all well, these images are being used to train AI. And it's just like, no, it's not. What the fuck? It, it, why would they need to be... Like, why would it need to be trained in what an image is when you can literally build a simulation of that into its brain? You can literally like find pictures of it everywhere else and send it to the AI. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you use humans to test AI when you should be testing AI and like ticking off whether they're kidding it correct or not? Like... I'm in this year. I'm gonna go to bed, but I am freaked out. But I love y'all. Be good. Good night.